patch version 1.0 is here for predecessor and now the game has gone into full launch on all platforms. This is going to be a bit of a different tier list video because I have a lot of other sort of like educational content I want to get out. Uh, I have a build video coming up soon. So I'm not going through the whole like, oh, pick two characters from each troll and give like an in-depth breakdown. I'm just going to go through the tiers, kind of like the overarching like role section. So my name is Bad News Bears. This is the predecessor 1.0 tier list. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Get right into it. Starting off in the off lane, there is no outstanding hero to be put in Paragon tier as Terra got a few nerfs. While she is still dominant in solo lane or off lane, she is being brought down to S tier. Joining her is Greystone who got a slight buff to his auto attack stim, but a slight nerf to his ultimate cooldown. Very oppressive hero right now with the on hit and the earth shakers. Staying in S tier and offlane, playing as oppressive as ever, Xeris did get an ultimate cooldown nerf, as well as Augmentation of Berserker's Axe got nerfed, which is an indirect nerf to Xeris. The items are still super runnable, Xeris is still pretty strong, super snowball-y. If you out outskill your opponent, you're able to get off some rotations to mid, get some stacks, get snowballing, very strong character in the late game. Tanks on the rise, Severog and Steel, both. Very, very strong right now, able to output a ton of damage while also being very tanky. Like, a shocking amount of damage, especially Steel. When we talk about Sevrog, he's on the shockingly tanky side. Especially with the new hero, Zynx, giving these two characters a, a potential extra life if they get caught out. Very, very hard to deal with. In A tier, we have Fang Mao, who just got a mana a mana nerf and a buff to his dash. It kind of balanced out. He's another super snowball heavy champ. So if you're out skilling your opponent, very scary in the late game. Crunch, I mean, he's a pretty, he's a pretty stable hero. Nothing crazy, but also nothing too egregious. Good use of Omni Vamp. Shinbi, scales super well into the late game. If you are good at piloting Shinbi, you can do a lot. Very strong split push champ crunch also. Grux. A tier, not really much has changed. Sky Splitter did get a nerf. I'm not a big fan of Sky Splitter anyway on uh, Grux. Serith is in A tier. I was debating putting her honestly in B tier uh, with the Sky Splitter getting nerfed again, but she is such a strong counter to Terra, who is still such a strong offlaner that I think I'm going to keep her in A. Got Richter. Rampage is joining offlane, and he's joining it in B tier. Honestly, this pick has potential to be better than B tier, but I haven't seen it played enough and I haven't played it myself. Rampage is very, very strong right now, which we'll see and talk about a bit more when we get to the jungle tier list. Richter's joining him. I mean, he got five more attack speed. Uh, Richter's Richter. You know, he has some utility. I don't really see anyone that blows my mind with him in offlane. Actually, like Dr. Flick, if you know Dr. Flick, shout out to him. It's actually a pretty good Richter. The only person I see consistently make it look good in offlane. And then in C tier, Countess and Kalari, they're not bringing much to the table in offlane. If you're a one trick, maybe you can make them work. They're just like weird niche picks. Now that offlane's done, let's jump into the jungle where Rampage is Paragon tier. Very, very strong right now. Uh, received a flat damage buff to Rumble. Received a scaling nerf to it. A physical power scaling nerf, but a max bonus health scaling added onto it, I believe at 6%. I don't have notes pulled up because I'm not scripting this video because I'm trying to get it out fast while I still have time before the new update comes. Anyways, uh, with the scaling on that, Rumble is able to pack a massive punch. His ultimate got buffed, gaining more max bonus health, which you translate that to Overlord. If Because we're running Overlord right now, you get more, per more power from that. You get more damage on the rumble. You get more damage on the pounce. They also increase the healing to times 4.5 instead of 0.4. So you also are tankier. Th this character is just a menace. He can do so much damage whilst also being so hard to kill. And his clear is good. And he has one of the best gank, ability gank setup abilities in the game with the rock being a two second range stun that you can throw from uh, halfway across the lane. Great engage ability with pounce does these damage, travels a huge distance, super fast, especially if you combine it with his ult. Overall, just an incredibly, incredibly strong character. Jumping into S tier, 
We have Greystone here as well. I think Greystone's a character that was slept in, slept on jungle last patch and now going into 1.0. I think people really need to start looking at him with the extra scaling added to his auto attack stim, possibly some on hit builds, possibly some Inferno builds. I think Greystone will be pretty strong this patch. And I think people need to experiment with him more. Kalari here as well. I'm actually just played a really rough Kalari game that makes me want to punish her for being too high here. But I, th I still think Kalari can be devastating in the right setup as with the right person playing her. You can move pretty fast in jungle. Jungle clear just got changed to be a bit faster, so she can even stay on the map ganking a lot more, be a lot more active now. I'm keeping her in S. Aurora, also in S tier. Her, even though her clear keeps getting nerfed and her ultimate just got nerfed, she is still so incredibly fast at clearing. She has such unique gank angles with the new map changes, with the removal of invisible walls, uh, that I think maybe, technically speaking right now, I think I'd put her in A, but once players get used to abusing these walls, she'll actually be in S, so I'm going to put her in S for now. Xeris, like I said for offlane, yes, his cage got nerfed a bit, no big deal yes augmentation and berserker's axe got nerfed a bit they are still very strong items on xeris i think you'll be fine the players who were succeeding with him before will succeed with him now i don't think it's that much of a difference s tier wang unchanged i believe still oppressive kind of high high execution but still very good s tier and chimera as well chimera has kind of he, he received a lot of changes in 1.0. A little buffs, a little nerfs. Ultimately, the, I think the way you need to play Chimera with how frail he is right now is very different. When paired with the Zinx, can be very strong. You can jump in, all, apply all the stacks of Basilisk, die, and get rezzed. I mean, a lot of the time, Chimera, he's he gets a pick, and your team wins the fight. He doesn't care if he dies or whatever. He is so good at just getting that pick. That I think I have to keep him in S tier. He, he has great jungle pressure, great clear speed, great early gank with his pounce with the slow on it. Yeah, I just I think I have to keep him in S tier. In A tier, we have Fang Mao. Not much has changed jungle side. Actually, he's been buffed jungle side because you don't have to worry about mana in jungle. No, mana. Usually I say mana. Joining him, Countess. Countess got some slight mana changes. But Spirit of Amir got buffed, and I actually think this is super good on Countess. I would like to see more people playing her. I'm going to be ambitious and put her in A. Shinbi, not much has changed for Shinbi. She was in A last time. I'm keeping her in A. Very snowball heavy. Crunch. Crunch is a hard one because a lot of the time you don't want to pick this character. But there are some drafts where Crunch feels so good that... I'm just putting him in a happy like middle and putting him in A tier. Sarath in A tier. Have to drop her out of S because of the nerfs to Sky Splitter. Severog joining A. Very strong jungler right now. Tanks on the rise. And Terra is dropping all the way down from Paragon to A. Her nerfs hurt her so hard in jungle compared to offlane. It, it's rough. If you are not against, like, if she's against Kalari or Fang Mao, she does such a great job of shutting down those characters. But when you're talking about, like, a set, there's no assassins on the map, Terra's value just, like, falls off a cliff. It is so hard to pilot this character, I find, if you're not against an assassin that you can lock out. And then moving into C, or B tier, sorry. There are no C tiers in jungle today. Moving on to B tier, we have Grux, who just doesn't really have the best gank angles. He's super slow, like mobility wise. He can't gap clear. The same issues he's always had, as well as Sky Splitter gets nerfed. Richter. Uh, Richter is just a character I'm not a fan of having in jungle. I wish Omega would change him back to support offlane instead of support jungle, but it's the life we live. They want him to be a jungler, so be it. I just don't think he's a great one. He does have a very interesting damage build, kind of like going around ish right now, that I think isn't half bad. But he's still very risky, very slow, very awkward to pilot in jungle. And Steel! Steel, I'm putting in B for now. I'm being a little cautious. I think Steel could be better. I need to play him more. There's a lot going on with 1.0. I'm kind of busy IRL, so, you know, some of these I'm taking with a grain of salt. Steel, I'm putting in B. He could be stronger. 
with Fire Blossom getting a buff and jungle camps being faster to clear, it allows Steel to not feel so slow in jungle that he's unplayable. And he definitely is playable. I've played him in a few ranked games, but I'm going to put him respectfully in B right now. Heading on into the mid lane, I already had Howie in Paragon last patch. I think this character was massively underrated. And Omeda decided to buff him. So surely that means I still think he's Paragon. And I do. So Howie is Paragon tier. Argus is looking really, really strong this patch. And honestly, I don't know what happened. Uh, maybe some people projected him incorrectly. Maybe other characters got nerfed, like Morgesh and Gadget got Gadget got nerfed really hard. And Argus just comes into the limelight and Gideon got brought back a little bit. So yeah, Argus feels incredibly, incredibly strong right now. His ability to lot to be utility and do a lot of damage. Honestly, right now I'm like running like a double stacking build. Argus feels really, really strong. Gideon, S tier, you know, team mobility ultra safe in lane very strong team fight ultimate solid burst single target damage or like slight aoe damage gideon still brings a lot to the table very strong s tier and wraith wraith has received massive buffs over the last two patches making him one of the premier characters in predecessor right now i'm putting him in s tier he is still very hard to pilot if you are not mechanically good at wraith this character will not perform but if you are someone who can play Wraith, you should be playing Wraith right now. Moving into A tier, Faye. Faye feels pretty good. She hasn't been touched in 1.0. I'm moving her up from B anyway because I think I underrated her. Super strong teamfight ultimate. Worst case scenario, the support goes Reclamation and your ult is virtually useless. But now your support doesn't have a crest. I mean, it's not virtually useless because you can do it in like isolated fights away from the support. Very strong ultimate in lane against characters like Howitzer. Faye does super well against Howitzer, in my opinion. Uh, if you play the matchup correctly. Bellica received a few buffs. A few, a slight buff in, what was the last patch? 18 point something. And now, or was it 19 point? Whatever. The last patch, Bellica received a slight buff. This patch, her ultimate received a massive buff. That is finding her an A tier. Her ability to burst down targets is insane. Honestly, I think we aren't... I mean, the patch hasn't been out for long enough to really say this. I don't think people are playing Bellica enough yet. Iggy, A tier. Character is unchanged, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. Still pretty strong. Pressure, lane pressure is insane. Jungle pressure is insane. You do still run the risk of if the enemy jungler shows up, you can't stop DPS on the objective. A tier. Gadget got nerfed super, super hard. Basically, every single one of her abilities got nerfed, including her passive. Azure Core also got nerfed, reducing the shield on Azure Core, so she's also a lot less safe and sustainable than she used to be. I still think she's strong. She does really well against Gideon. Does a pretty good job of shredding down tanks if you have a magical jungler. She pairs really, really well with a magical jungler like Shinbi or Countess, so I'm still going to put her in A tier for her utility and overall her relative safety. Morgesh got nerfed a little bit that I think she is starting to hit the point where her risk is not worth the reward. She does still have insane burst. The max HP damage, percent damage has gone down. Her base movement speed has actually gone down, but Swarm now gets more movement speed the higher level it is. Typically, you're not leveling that ability first. I think the only time you do is if you're against a Countess in lane. A lot of the time I do level at second, so it's not the worst thing in the world, but it is a notable change that makes the character a lot less safe. And yeah, I'm putting her in A tier. Shin B in B tier, I, I mean, when we're talking about B and C tier in mid right now, I really question why you're playing the heroes. Shin B is just a gank bot and hope you get to late game. Countess doesn't really do a whole lot in mid right now. I think if you're picking Countess, you're better off picking her jungle. Unless you're a Countess one trick, then you can maybe make something work. I think she's kind of awkward to play in mid right now. Decker, I'm putting in C tier. There's just not really much reason to put Decker in mid. They keep reducing her damage, which doesn't really hurt her that that much in support, but hurts her greatly in mid. I think it is still usable, but not super great. And Grim, 
has been nerfed even harder. I think this character is virtually pointless to play in mid right now. And this is honestly the only reason I have him on the tier list right now is because he was rated so high before that I feel like it's weird to just completely remove him from the tier list. So I'm putting him in C and he probably won't make a return for mid until he gets buffed kind of harder. All right, going into support where we have the newest hero, Zynx, who I'm putting in Paragon tier. This character's kind of giga overtuned in my opinion. She has a very, very strong kit with a stun that can hit multiple targets. It's a pretty decently length. It was 1.25 seconds on first target hit. So pretty solid length stun, it can hit multiple targets. A pretty decent heal that's on a very short cooldown. She makes great use of items like Everbloom, Lunaria. Uh, I'm struggling to think of the name of the support items right now. Uh, there's one that's a crown. I can't think of the name of it, but it gives you movement speed when you heal your allies. Very strong, very good user of items like that. Makes the character seem insane. She can also deal a decent amount of damage with her passive a lot of these items do also give her magical power scaling the passive on her heal which gives her dot on her autos magical power dot on her autos and obviously the big kicker is the resurrect i mean if you get to max level it's a 60 60 or 70 percent health res which is insane you're probably not getting your ultimate to max level very often but it is still a very strong res at all levels the amount of times people will kit dump someone who's going to get rezzed and then they have not a whole lot for the team fight that follows yeah this character is game changing currently she might get a bit worse when people get better at handling her or honestly the case right now is people are getting better at playing her and she is like leaps and bounds better than every other support right now i think she is my number one ban right now in ranked going into esther of narbash i will ride this character till the day i die movement speed and healing is op he has a stun he has big aoe slow that turns into a knock up on with his ultimate a good user of these very strong healing items that zinx also uses i think narbash is kind of slept on right now decker she just has an amazing kit such an insane lockdown no character has lockdown like decker she has a slow a stun a cage i mean like what more do you need really this character, yes, she just got damage nerfs, but she needs like cooldown nerfs or like a reduction to her stun before you're taking her out of S tier. And FaZe actually got a buff. Her ultimate now provides more CDR. I already had her in S. I'm going to keep her in S. Actually, the whole tier list is unchanged from last patch, so I'm not going to go too much into detail, but Steel, Argus, Richter, Muriel, and Bellica are all in A tier. <laughs> Uh, tanks on the rise, so Richter and Steel are still looking pretty good in A tier. Bellica got a pretty significant buff. While it doesn't help her a whole lot in support, it does help her a bit. I mean, if you're someone who's going to build full damage Bellica support like I do, it, honestly, like, maybe S tier. <laughs> she does a lot of damage now, man. But yeah, Muriel, global presence, hard to argue with that. And Argus is just a very strong, very high damage utility character. Aurora, I'm still keeping in B tier. She has a very niche spot in support, but when she's good, she's really good. And then Zerus, I he is all on a shorter cooldown now. So I'm debating taking him off the support tier list, but he I think he it's hard for him to not have usability in support. But I wouldn't be too eager to pick him for it right now. And moving on to ADC. We have no outstanding ADC to put in Paragon right now. Murdoch got a slight defense or HP buff. Uh, so he is now an S tier. I think I already had him in S tier. Kind of wasn't performing where I expected him to. I think now with nerfs to Drongo and the slight buffs to Murdoch, he might see a bit more time at high level play. I'm optimistically putting him in S tier. I like the character a lot. Drongo. Did get nerfed kind of hard, but the character still seems to be performing pretty well. The gag grenade is an undeniably strong ability. Boomerang is very good, the slow, and the ability to kind of like curve it. Very strong character all in all. Twin Blast got a massive power buff, so I'm putting him in S tier right now. His power per level has been buffed, so putting him in S tier. And Wraith, we're talking about 
giga buffs the last two patches i'm putting him in s tier i want to see more wraith adc i want to see more wraith adc than i want to see wraith mid i think he's a bit better in adc but i think he's s in both i need people playing wraith now before they nerf this guy again y'all need to be playing this character he is insane and i ain't seen enough of it <laughs> kira got some pretty hefty nerfs uh with a pretty significant buff to her ultimate her ultimate at level one is still pretty bad but at level two and three that thing is killer right now with its insane scaling and insane base numbers so i'm gonna put her in a alongside grim who still has pretty solid damage output but just isn't on par with the other adcs in s tier Revenant got a buff, so I finally get to take him out of C tier as he's kind of a playable character now. I still don't think he's the best, but if you're someone who enjoys the Rev, uh, you can get away with playing him. You can climb pretty consistently in ranked where you don't feel too, too bad if you are a Rev player. And Sparrow, kind of in the same boat. Hard to make look good, really, but if you're someone who enjoys the character, you can still do it. You're very, very strong late game. It's about getting there. If Rampage is on the enemy team, I don't think you can play Sparrow. If it's like Rampage Jungle or Sev Jungle, I just don't think you can realistically pick either Rev or Sparrow. They kind of suffer from like an unkillable jungle tank meta right now. I know this tier list wasn't the normal quality that I have been putting out for tier lists. And I know it was delivered in such a different way, but it was the only way I could really effectively get off information without having like the two the crazy breakdown and like i said I, there's other content that i want to get out i'm dealing with some irl stuff right now i want the tier list out because it is something that people like uh i like making it and yeah there's just there's just other stuff i want to get out i want to do those build videos i've always i keep talking about i want to maybe do some jungle tutorials it's something i'm not super confident about but i want to start doing it i want to try it give it a go yeah if you're still here Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. That's all for me. There should be two videos on screen right now. Give those a check. If you haven't yet, like, comment, subscribe. Do all that for me. Bears out. Peace.